ankle. Welcome back to my channel, honey. And I'm back with another hair video. Period, poop, period, poop, period, period, period. This hair is from Ali Pearl, and they have up to 40 inches long, you guys. I'm coming back for that 40 inches, Ali Pearl. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Anyways, I'm stop playing, I'm stop playing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I will be doing an updated tutorial on how I lay down my ball caps and install my wigs. Since it's been a while since I've done my last tutorial, I just want to show you guys all the skills I picked up since then. If you're enjoying this voiceover as much as me so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up for more content just like this. Love you guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using this method that I call the place and press method. So what I'm doing here is just pulling the lace where I want it to be before I lay it down and then using the other finger and gently putting a little pressure on the spots where I put the glue at and just watch it disappear and melt into my skin. I was able to wear this wig up to 10 freaking times you guys and I did the same exact thing every single time step by step all I did was just wash it give it a nice blowout and then flatten period and I always just wear a middle part hot comb the top until it is flat to perfection honey and when you're done laying down your lace before you wrap your hairline up, make sure you cut off any excess lace because this is a very important step because you're going to need to make sure that you have a nice, clean, flat surface to start doing your baby hairs, which I'm now going to be showing you how I recreated them because I probably pulled them out when I was trying to clean the lace. But that's fine because I'm a finesser and I'm about to finesse this wig and recreate these baby hairs for y'all, okay? As for the product, I'm going to be using Gods to Be Glue Gel for my edges and I'm just going to take a few dabs and smooth it out with my finger on the top. No, you don't need a whole raindrop of Gods to Be Glue to do one little piece of edges. Just use a thin little layer. What I like to do is just thin it out on the top before I use it. And that is literally all you need. And for the remainder of the time being, while you have on your wig, don't use that guys to be no more because it'll get thick, build up, and it'll start to look flaky. Just use some Nairobi when it's hard and you just want to redo your edges, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If one plus one is two, and two plus two is four, why haven't you subscribed yet? Alright, that's as good as it gets. Give me that makeup brush, girl. Mine. Not yours. So let me adjust my camera real quick. Camera, please. Camera, please don't fall. Don't do that. I just I just want to show you. Camera, you better not. You better not. Nobody who did. 